If you don't know what to sell online, you should probably just go look in your linen closet. <laughs> I am Debbie with Who's It's and What's It's, and I am here to teach you exactly what you should be looking for, treasures galore that will make you more. Make sure you click subscribe, because the more you watch, the more you're gonna make. Bedding is easily one of the most overlooked and underrated categories ever, making it super easy to find inventory. One of the main reasons that somebody will spend money on sheets online is for crafting. So just look on Pinterest. You would be amazed at all the different projects that you'll see on Pinterest. People making quilts um, using the fabric from sheets. People making dresses. There are certain patterns that are out of print. The only place to find it are places like eBay and Amazon. So really you're their only choice to find that print. So uh, that's one of the main reasons why somebody will buy on eBay and Amazon because they're out of print patterns. Okay, so another reason why, and this one is crazy to me, and I just kind of found this one out by accident, um, is for nostalgia. And uh, this is gonna sound really weird, but I had this pattern and it was like a yellow flowery pattern. I started noticing that this specific pattern was actually getting pretty popular. And the prices kept going up and I kept thinking, I wonder why that is, why is that pattern? And so one day I'm watching one of my all time favorite television shows, The Goldbergs. I just love that mom on Goldbergs. But anyway, I'm watching The Goldbergs and they show the parents in their room talking and I'm like, O-M-G. It was the very same set and I'm like, oh my gosh. That's why suddenly it got popular. And then it reminded me, do you remember when Duck Dynasty was huge? And Uncle Cy was like everybody's favorite. And he was always like sitting in front of the camera, drinking tea out of a Tupperware tumbler. Okay, that particular cup became super popular on eBay for the longest time until Walmart figured it out and then they kind of made their own mock version and you know branded it and everything and all that. But until then, you could go and buy Tupperware mug, or not mugs, but cups at thrift stores for 50 cents and throw it on eBay for 20 bucks and people were buying them like crazy because of Uncle Cy. So don't underestimate the importance of nostalgia. So if it's on a TV show or a movie and it's super popular, you may want to pay attention to what's in the bedroom. <laughs> no pun intended there. Okay, moving on to what kind of things you should be looking for. So what I mean is the type of product. So is it sheets, pillowcases, duvets, sets like, um, you know, with the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, all that, um, shams, blankets, and comforters. Now you can, you can even find pillows and curtains, um, and balances, whatever. You can find those kinds of things that kind of go along with the bedding, but the sheets and pillowcases, those kinds of things sell for, a little bit more, it's a little bit better, um, depending on the pattern and, and brand and stuff. But those are the kinds of items that you're gonna wanna keep your eye out for. Now, how much do these things sell for? <laughs> and well, that I cannot really answer because you're just gonna have to do your research. Okay, this is absolutely the most important step, so I'm gonna help you out here. How do we do our research? You're gonna start by typing in the item in the search bar. Remember to stay broad and then narrow it later. So if you're looking for a certain set of sheets, maybe start with the name brand and the color, and then you can filter it from there. So you can add in the name flat sheet and then the size, but you wanna start broad and then narrow it. Okay, so once you pull up your list, you're gonna go all the way down to the left-hand side, the left-hand column, and you're gonna select completed listings. And that way it's going to show you the ones that have sold and haven't sold. So if there's 50 listings and only one of them sold, you're going to want to know that. Okay, so make sure that you're clicking on completed and not sold. 
Okay, so anyway, then you're gonna wanna go up to the top of your list and select sort by, and you're gonna select sold recently. And there's your list, and it's gonna tell you exactly what has sold, what hasn't sold. Now remember, the number in green is the amount that it sold for. If it's not in green, but it's in red or black, that means the item did not sell. That's what they listed it for, but it did not sell. That's important to know. You're also gonna wanna look at the date, so you know like how frequently, or I mean um, how recently it sold. And you're gonna wanna look at how many listings there are and like how many of them are sold versus how many of them didn't sell. Remember, if you're not at least making your standard rate, then you don't want to buy it. Some of the name brands that you wanna look for are the more expensive, nice designer type sheets um, and pillowcases. If you see a Ralph Lauren tag, no matter what it is, chances are you should just go ahead and pick it up because it's worth money. What's trending? One of the trends that I have noticed is rainbows. You know, and I don't know if it's because, you know, unicorns are huge now, so there's a bunch of unicorn and rainbow decor, but also gay pride, that kind of thing. So rainbows are huge, so if you, especially vintage, licensed is always good so think Disney think uh, movies think cartoons think what a, you know licensed um, sheets and pillowcases can be worth quite a bit it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas okay so don't forget to look at seasonal prints when you're shopping for sheets they're worth money on eBay Okay, so now let's talk about where we go to find these items. Garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, obviously, but maybe not so obvious to you. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, places like that. And also don't forget your regular discount stores like Target and Walmart, especially in the clearance aisle. One important thing to remember when shipping your sheets that's a tongue twister. But when you are shipping your sheets, you want to make sure to remember that it is going to be in the elements. I mean, you know, these packages go through rain, snow, sun, whatever. And you want to make sure that you're protecting the bedding inside. So I recommend that you stick it in a plastic bag before you put it in the box or the other envelope that you're shipping it in, you know, just to give it that added layer of protection. So you know what you need to do now. You need to go buy sheets, pillowcases, whatever, sell them online, come back here, and leave in the comments below all of your success stories because I absolutely love reading them, okay? <laughs> also, be sure to go to Facebook and check out my private group, which is Who's It's and What's It's, and just request to join. Then I will give the okay, if I like you, and uh, then you can be sure to check me out on Thursday evenings for live Q&A. Until next time on Who's It's and What's It's, I will see you guys later. Happy hunting. <laughs> Bye.